it is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and it is day 11 of Christie's Beautiful Life, 30 Days of Sketches, round 11. Today's sketch is from Natalie Turcott, I think, um, Cloud Cloudsdale. Um, so I will have her Instagram linked down below so you can give her some love. Now, she has a super fun hand-drawn sketch and I am kind of a big fan of them. Like, <laughs> I think they are awesome. So I am definitely going to make this sketch my own. I love the idea of uh, one picture or pictures on opposite ends, I guess, of of the layout. So she's got a bigger picture up in the top left and then two smaller pictures down at the bottom. And she's definitely got a border. Now that border could be, you know, just a border of paper um, and or it could be a hand-drawn border. Um, it looks a little squiggly, so I'm actually going to do both. So I'm going to start with uh, this beautiful uh, floral white paper as my back matting. And then I'm going to use this pink on pink polka dot for the center. Now to get a little bit more of that waviness, I am going to distress all of the edges. And then, so I'm going to glue that down. And in addition to uh, the roughed up edges to kind of get that idea. I am going to take a black pen and I am going to do a doodly border as well. Um, oh, I forgot I did this. So another way to give that little bit of a texture to that outside, I decided to take some tissue paper and actually scrunch it up to go on the side in between the two layers. So kind of a fun little peekaboo. Instead of cutting a section out of the side of your paper, it fits in there uh, really nicely and gives you just a little more texture. It's not super noticeable because it is white on white, but because I have uh, quite a bit of tissue paper on this layout, it, it's going to make sense. So I have three photos of when my daughter and I went and saw the Nutcracker at Christmas time this year. So I have one of her in front of the tree, one of her in front of the stage, and then just kind of a selfie of her and I. So I have this cut file from cut to you. I think it's called on point. I'll have that linked down below. And when I got this cut file, I got it because I knew that I wanted to use it for this particular layout. I just wasn't sure how that was going to work. So, um, I liked the idea of the cut file being in the center and then it still kind of connects the two sets of photos. Um, I do tend to like, like all of my stuff to touch. Kind of like I like to touch a bunch of stuff as far as scrapbooking supplies goes. Um, I also like my scrapbooking supplies to touch each other. So I'm trying to figure out how I can get these two photos on the bottom and just the one big one of her at the top like you see in, in the sketch. And I'm going to struggle. And I'm going to eventually turn off the camera because I'm struggling so much. I even swap placement. Um, so for the cut file, I did all of the ribbon pieces in a pink cardstock. And then the actual shoes are actually backed in tissue paper. So I will have a close up of that um, at the end. So you can you can kind of see that. So here we are still fiddling. <laughs> I told you I fiddled a long time. Like I was really struggling. I'm like, oh, maybe this one's too big. So let's cut it down. See if I can get it up there. 
and I kind of can, but I kind of can't. And so I will go off camera. There we go. And I did add tissue paper to the back of all of the photos. And then I decided to stick my title um, over in that kind of space where in the sketch it says text. Um, and it says this fantastic day. So that's going to be my title. I'm going to do just a little bit of embellishing each photo is going to kind of get a little cluster. The bottom photo gets kind of two, a little bit on top and a little bit on the bottom. And then the big photo is going to get a big cluster down there in the bottom left hand corner. And the smaller photo on top is going to get a couple of tiny word stickers and a floral. So all touching again. <laughs> there, there I am. So I decided to go ahead and bring in a few more of the colors that are in the florals from behind. I did want this to be kind of Christmassy, but kind of not. Um, so I felt like that kind of minty green and the kind of pinky kind of gives you a little bit of the Christmassy red and green vibes, but a little softer, kind of like the ballet is a lot softer. So that was kind of my rationale. I think probably if there wasn't a picture of a Christmas tree, I don't think you would know that this was at Christmas time and that's okay. Now I'm going to finish it off with some sequins from Spiegel Mom Scraps. This is the strawberry shake sequins and I only want a few. So instead of pouring it in my dish, which let's be honest, the reason I probably didn't pour it in my dish is because there were already sequins in it. But <laughs> the other reason is I just needed a few. So I went ahead and put them in my hand. I took my Nouveau Deluxe adhesive added my little dollops of glue where I felt like they needed to go and then used my crystal katana to pick them up out of my hand, which it's interesting. It doesn't pick up out of the hand as well. It picks up out of the uh, dish. And I think that that's probably because your hand's kind of squishy versus a dish, which is hard. That's my guess. I'm not sure. Um, so I don't think I get any of the green ones. I think I just went with the pink, red, and white. Yeah. So I pick them up with the waxy tip and then push them down with the metal tip. So that is going to do it. Please make sure that you head to the description box and give Natalie some love for this amazing sketch, as well as check out the playlist of everybody who is playing along this month. We just add our, our videos to that playlist and uh, you can check over on Instagram for the hashtag and see everybody who's playing along on Instagram as well. So there is my final layout. If you have any questions, leave them down below and remember to wear your crown and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.